these english muffins are one of the simplest and easiest breads that we can make at home we don't need any fancy equipment and this recipe is pretty simple and straightforward and all that we need are some flour and water some salt and sugar for taste and some yeast as a leavening agent and these english muffins are super soft light and fluffy and they are so tasty and we can simply toast them with some butter and can have them with some sweet spreads or with some savory filling and in this video let's see how to make this a homemade english muffins in five simple steps so let's start by preparing the dough into a bowl i'm adding some lukewarm water water which is not cold nor hot but just slightly warm and now adding one and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt and one and a half tablespoons of sugar and one and a half teaspoon of yeast here i've used instant yeast we can use active dried yeast as well and stir and mix until all of those ingredients get dissolved in water and now i'm adding flour i'm adding flour in parts as we are using three and half cups of flour and mix and combine them together until it forms a shaggy mass of dough And now let's uh, transfer this dough onto a clean work surface and we need to knead the dough and if you are using a stand mixer then it will be so much easier for you to knead the dough but if you are kneading the dough by hand you may find the dough to be a little sticky in the beginning and that's okay that's the way it should be and just continue to knead and to develop gluten for this kind of a sticky dough we can simply slap the dough on the work surface and then turn it and repeat the same and throughout the kneading i have not added any extra flour or water but the consistency of the dough that we make may slightly differ according to the kind of flour that we use or if we are using volume measurements instead of weighing the ingredients and that's okay while making a bread we don't need to be very precise on the measurements and so if you find the dough to be a little sticky we can add a little more flour or if you find the dough to be a little tough we can add a little more water into the dough and the point is that we should know the consistency of our final dough and so after kneading the dough for 8 to 10 minutes our dough should be soft and smooth and it will not stick to your hands but you can see it's a tacky to the touch and it's still showing a tendency to stick on to the surface and now our dough is well kneaded and it's ready for the first proofing so let's cover it with a bowl and let it sit for 45 minutes and after the first proofing our dough has risen slightly And now place it on a lightly floured work surface and deflate the dough. And now let's divide and shape the dough. I'm rolling it to form the shape of a log so that we can divide them equally. And then shape each small portion into small round balls just attacking the edges towards the center and then roll it into small round balls and now we have 12 round balls 
and I'm sprinkling the baking tray with some cornmeal to prevent them from sticking. Here I've used medium grind cornmeal and that's why the texture is a bit different. And now I'm sprinkling some more onto the work surface. And let's shape the dough by gently pressing the top of the bowl and transfer this small disc onto the baking tray. And now all our discs are placed on the baking tray. Let's sprinkle the top of the disc with some more cornmeal and now they are ready for the final rising. So wrap the baking tray with a plastic film and let them sit and rise for one hour or until they are really puffy. And now it's been 60 minutes and they have risen well. So now let's cook our English muffins. So heat a pan on a low heat and gently transfer the disc onto the preheated skillet. And if we are not gentle enough or handle them too much, it may get deflated. As our English muffins are thick, we need to cook them slowly and steadily. So that just when the bottom of our English muffins turn golden brown in color, the inside of the muffins will also get cooked properly. And so we want them to get baked at a very low temperature. And so we need to adjust the heating to low or in such a way that they need to be cooked on the skillet for at least five minutes on each side. And now let them sit and cool down completely and this cooling down is still the part of cooking process as the steam which is entrapped within the bread will help to cook completely. So now they've cooled down completely and let's open this English muffins with the help of a fork. And these English muffins are so light and airy. They are chewy and so tasty and just toss them with some butter and have them with some jam or turn them into a breakfast sandwich with a fried egg and sausage patty. And homemade English muffins are the best and I can promise you that after you make these English muffins you will never want to buy store-bought ones. And I love how simple it is to make this at home and I hope you found this recipe easy to make and I hope you will make this at home and I hope everybody will love it. And if you like this video, please give your valuable thumbs up and please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love homemade bread. And thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video. See you next time.